Hi, it's the Rossum Vegan Gal here, and this is part number nine. Wow, hard to believe it's that part number nine already for Miyoko's Creamery, and I will have a link below to her website so you can check out all the products that she offered. And hopefully, excuse me, excuse me, I don't know, all of a sudden, hopefully, I'm all choked out, right? It's so good. Um, hopefully, you can go check out the other videos I've done as well. So, um, so these are some really great products that she has, um, and her name is Miyoko. Um, this is her organic cashew milk cream cheese. She calls these this fish free lox, and I'll tell you why in a minute why she calls it that. So this is what the package looks like, and it is a eight ounce container. It is traditionally cultured. It is also USDA organic. It's vegan. She calls it phenomenally vegan. It also has plant protein. Um, it says, let's see how many, three grams per serving. She says, milk plants hug cows. I like that. Uh, it's cruelty-free, certified plant-based, certified B Corporation. And here is Miyoko. If you'd like to see what she looks like, you can also check it out on her website. Uh, her hugging a cow, uh, <laughs> which is very cute. Uh, it's also kosher. <laughs> Excuse me. Still, I'm still choked up. What can I tell you? <laughs> Excuse me. It's lactose-free, palm oil-free, gluten-free, soy-free, and non-GMO. Uh, let's see. It's also perishable, so you want to keep it refrigerated. And it's also best used within 14 days of opening. And it's got... Um, <coughs> wow, I'm still choked up. Wow, it's just that good. I haven't even tried it yet. This one I haven't actually not tried yet. So, excuse me. Sorry for all that. So, um, the base is organic cashew milk. Uh, also, coconut cream, sea salt, and then the fish-free lox is the seaweed. She doesn't say which kind of seaweed she uses. I don't know if it shows on the website. Also, organic vegetables juice for color. It has cultures. It also has, um, this one has um, only six simple ingredients and no added oil. So, if you're looking for a product with no added oil, um, this would be the one. And then, as far as nutritional information, I already mentioned the protein. It's got 90 calories per serving. Um, everything else is kind of small. Because the iron, it's got 6% iron per serving and 2% potassium. Um, and I think that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. And I'm going to actually, before I try it, I'm going to tell you uh, different ideas or ways you could do it. Everyone traditionally puts cream cheese on bagels. I don't eat bagels. So um, so I'll show you some ideas before I actually try it and then put it on something. So some ideas of what you could use them on. And then I'll also put below the um, the products. And some of them I've actually reviewed also on my channel. Um, like these coconut wraps. You could use it in a wrap. So this is from a company called Nuco. This is a couple of their varieties. They have an original one. They also have one called turmeric and one called moringa. So they're um, coconut based. And then another idea is if you want to make a, a wrap um, and you can you don't have to use rice if you don't do um, sushi with rice. You can do other things. But you can use some organic nori. This is from a brand called, um, they go by, I think it's raw nori. Yeah, it's a, the brand, it's the brand is not the, what the issue is. It's from the company. It's called raw nori. But I will um, put a link below for that too. And it is certified um, that it's raw and vegan as well. Uh, another idea, I have something called corn thins here from a company called Real Foods. And they make different varieties. They also do rice thins. So that's another idea. This is their sesame variety. It's organic. I have it in the bag because I've been eating it. So that's actually nice on there as well. Um, another idea, if you like rice cakes, that's another thing you can put them on. So these are some rice cakes from a brand called Lundberg. Um, and this is their wild rice. They're lightly salted. So that's another idea. And another one as well um, that you could try. Uh, this is another brand I've done some videos uh, for, quite a few actually called Foods Alive, and this is their flax crackers. This is their Art Italian zest variety. They have many actually savory varieties. So that's another option you can do. So I'm going to try it first, and then I'm actually going to put it on something else. And I'll show you in a minute. I can put it on the cracker too, but I'm going to first open this. And then um, I always like to smell things, so I'm going to smell it first. <laughs> see what I think about it. Oh, it smells good. And I think what I see there, that, that maybe that's the seaweed. It's like got like kind of like black little specks in there. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's nori. I don't know what kind of uh, seaweed, but you can, you can see that in the light. So I'm going to take a spoon here and just try a little. It looks kind of firm, but let's see how it is. Yeah, it's kind of a firm cheese. Wow, it's different than I thought it would be. It's much firmer. Sometimes the cheese is a little softer, but it's really, really firm in here. So I'm going to go take a taste. And it's funny, it does taste, I have to tell you something really funny. Well, for me it's funny because I've never eaten lox before. I've actually smelled them. And it actually did taste 
tastes like the smell of lox. I, I, it's hard to describe what I'm saying, but more of the taste, because when I smell it, I don't taste that smell that I've smelled the way lox smells, because I've smelled lox that people have had, but I've never eaten it. But it definitely does. And, and probably for other people, they might actually say it does taste like lox. So they, they got that down really good, but it's, it's the taste to me that smells like how I smell lox. I don't know. I, I can't explain it, but that's just something that um, it's weird how I'm saying it, but that's just what it is for me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it on a piece of celery. So that's kind of fun to do too as a snack or an hors d'oeuvre, like on a vegetable. I think I, last time I did another one on a cucumber, you could take like mini peppers and stuff them. Um, I have something else where you can put like, like kind of like a veggie Oreo, I call it, like between two slices, thick slices of cucumber or zucchini, you know, uh, would be fun too. So those are, make a stack of them and put the cheese in between. So I'm just going to put some on the, um, here, and I do have a clean knife, so, so make sure that when you're using it, it don't double dip because it won't last as long either. Don't forget, it, has, it does have cultures in it, so it does have probiotics as well, which is good for you. So I'm going to take some of this and put it on the celery. So excuse me while I get that on. You know, like some people put um, like nut butter, like a almond butter or something, but you could do it also with cheese. You could have fun with your, um, with your vegetables. I'm trying to think what other vegetables would... Also like a veggie wrap, like a lettuce wrap or something like that, or even cabbage. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try this. Mm. That is nice on there. And it's funny, it has a color, kind of a little more pinkish when I look at it. Um, almost like laxes, because lax I think is pinker. But very nice. Now I can see, I think, the seaweed a little more. But I'm not sure what it is, what kind of seaweed it is. But they did a really good job, Miyoko. You did a great job, I should say. Um, whoever did the um, R&D, the research and development, to make it taste like lox. Um, again, I've never eaten lox before, but the aroma, that's the word I was looking for. So the aroma I get after I have it in my mouth, that kind of comes up, um, that flavor, that uh, lox. So, yeah, really good. It's, I like it. I think it's yummy. And it's I mean, some of the, her cheeses, I think, are a little softer, but this one is firm. So, delish, that's all I can say. Um, I guess that's why I was choked up so much about it. It was that good, and even before I tried it. So, again, this is Miyoko's Creamery. It's her organic cashew milk cream cheese, her fish-free lox variety. And I hope you'll definitely check this out. And also, it's a way to add more seaweed um, to your repertoire, because seaweed's actually also very good for you. It's got a lot of minerals uh, that are good for the body. And I thank you for watching. It's the Rossum Vegan Gal.